first things first, let's check out some common type of systems. Uh, since we are moving fluids, we are going to probably use pipings or piping unpiped. Then this is four feet. This here goes the flow, and here goes an expansion. As you can see, this is small diameter, big diameter. For example, this is six inches, and this one is four inches. And well, you choose point A here, and you choose point A B here, and then you do your balance. Now, other system is commonly this tube, which is just expanding. You have one diameter, and then goes to the second diameter. Normally, you will choose this point as A, and you will choose this point as B. Those were simple problems, but what happens when you choose a relatively complex problem? For example, you have this, let's say this will be your point A, and you want to finishing point B. What's going on here is essentially you have a height, actually it's 4 feet plus 18 feet and this pipe is 30 feet long. You have a small differential here of 2 feet. And as common sense would say, you have here, let's say here pressure is atmospheric, atmospheric, so there's no change in pressure. You will have the movement of fluid due to gravity because this is a huge height which is 22 feet so by logic you will expect fluid to flow here and even here uh, for example this valve is completely open you will have a flow through here if this valve were to be closed you will not have a flow right here and the only flow will go through this pipe which goes and bisects and then gets into the collector tank that's actually a relatively complex problem of a mechanical energy equation. So, <clears throat> you heard me before, we're talking about movement, forces, pressures, velocities, heights, pump, valves, piping, and so on. So, we want to relate everything to energy. We're going to make an analysis of the momentum transport we want also velocity profiles in each pipe, for example the velocity in a small pipe, then the expansion, what's the velocity in, in the big diameter, then the change of position of objects, for example from A to B you need to move, that will imply energy. The good thing is that with fluid mechanics we can actually model that and model the movement of fluids. So once again we are in incompressible flow so we are going to model liquids. We are not going to use any heat energy, any heat transfer and so on. And even though we could use it, we are going to suppose we are not going to evaporate. Maybe we can change the temperature, which means we will change a little bit density, which is okay, and viscosity. Viscosity will definitely affect our calculations. Now, let's get very clear what's the system, what's point A, what's point B, what's the surrounding and what do we mean with the universe. Since we are doing an energy balance we want to calculate all the energy. We know the energy of the universe equals that energy of the system system plus the energy of the surroundings surroundings by definition is everything that is not the system so in this case our system is this right here the surrounding will be I don't know something outside heat work and so on we need to account for that and for the energy point A is essentially the starting point and point B is the finishing point it must be inside of our system we cannot model point B outside our system and we cannot choose a system that does not include A or B. So by definition we cannot have for example model, I don't know, maybe if we finish our flow here and I choose this to be B, well I cannot do that, my point cannot be in the surroundings. So once again we're talking about energies, let's actually check out whatever energy is inside. For example, the first things I see here, I see movement, I see a velocity, if 
fluid is moving, there should be kinetic energy. So this is due to velocity, it's right here. Second, I see there is a change on height, and starting from A and this is my point B, there is a height, actually 10 minus 2, this will be 8 meters. So because of this height, I will have a potential energy. Now this one is tricky guys, because we are not that used to calculate uh, energy due to pressure. Pressure means force per unit area. And work by the definition is force times displacement. So we force pressure in here, we will have pressure times area times distance will give me the work. And surprise, area times distance is volume. So pressure times volume will give you work. So we can actually say that a change of pressure will or could give me energy. Uh, other thing we can say or easier to understand is for example if you have a pressure here and you have a greater pressure here is because of something because you had a pump pressurizing or because you have too much height or the hydrostatic head of the water will increase the pressure or eventually you will have something but that means that there is energy for example you if you had a hose you could move the fluid because of the high pressure here is high pressure and this is low pressure so that's why you have this movement of water now inlet and outlet energies of the system are the most obvious one for example if you add energy with a pump let's say you're filling you have this tank here you want to fill this tank right here well you need a pump you cannot do this because if you had this system with no pump, actually you will empty the tank. So that's one. Turbine is essentially, well, if we wanted to add a meal, for example, one of the benefits, the many benefits you get when you get your premium membership and register for the course is the library section in which you can get access to plenty of media, documents, books, reviews. And this time I'm going to show you the slideshows. What do I mean with the slides? Essentially, all the material I've been exposing or showing to you in the videos, you can go here and watch them by your own. And it's cool because you got everything I show you in the video, but this time you can go at your own pace. Normally, you prefer doing this when you're starting. You want to make annotations, marks, etc. And I got these for every block and it's totally complete. I mean, flush. So why not go and right now and register for the premium account right here. Sample or a paddle wheel. Every time water comes here, it makes the wheel turn. And if you turn it, let's say we could use it to generate electricity. If we generate electricity here, it's because we are taking mechanical energy out of our system. And this one is kind of tricky guys, it's not that obvious. Hopefully you've been studying energy balances and fluid dynamics, you know there's always friction. Friction where? Well, first things first, there will be a vortex here, so you will lose a lot of energy crashing here. You will have friction in all the pipe because the fluid will be, let's say, like uh, having contact with the pipe and it will lose energy. This band is also, well, you know, if you crash into a band, well, you lose energy, and so on. So we will need to account for the energy loss. And eventually, I wanted to show you just an overview. If we wanted to do a balance of energies on A plus energies on B will be energies on A equals energies on B. But there is a very interesting concept, the only friction loss we will account is this one and actually this is not energy contained in A and not energy contained on B it's actually energy generated from A to B so this is a trajectory loss uh, since we always use energy in a positive manner so we want it positive, let's put it on the right side 
So actually, we have this. A, we will have pressure, height, velocity, and of course, work inlet. So let's say this is the inlet, the positive work we have, and the negative work, because we don't want it to be negative. So we, if we have plus and plus will be awesome. If you wanted to use negatives, well, you will have to do this here, and I actually don't like it that much personally, so I prefer making it equal and not equal to zero. So we have this, we also have the pressure on B, the height on B, the change on velocity or final velocity, the friction loss to the right because we are losing it. So energy inlets go in the left, energy outlets go to the right. So turbine is also an energy outlet, friction is an energy outlet. And uh, yeah, essentially we have our master equation. Here it is. So once again, this is density. This alpha value is almost always one, so you can ignore it. Uh, G is of course gravity. And well, we have outlet work, inlet work, and the changes of parameters on A and B. A, this is all A, and this is all B. So please note, later I will add a note, but the GC is not present here because this equation is only for international system. You want to use English system, well, you will need to add the gravitational constant. But anyways, we're going to see that in the next slides and videos. Just wait for it. Let me show you pressure A, pressure B, height of point A and height of point B. Many times, if you have a slightly change in height, you may ignore the change of height. Actually, it's not that much. Change in velocity this is very critical, especially if you are working with different pipes. Different pipes diameter will have different velocities. Uh, very important, energy inlet of the pump. I always like to add the efficiency so I don't uh, forget how much pump is required. Pump, pump energy, uh, energy outlet, well, those directly here, and energy loss due to friction, recall, remember, it's from A to B, it's actually dependent on the road, if you have a 2 meter, or you have a 20 meter, maybe everything will remain the same guys, but the friction will always change, and yep, we have here, for example, you wanted to show A, the pressure on A, let's say it's one atmosphere because it's atmospheric pressure and actually here is also atmospheric pressure. You will see later that since these and these are the same, you will have no change or energy due to pressure. Due to height, yes, you have it. Actually, you have it 10 and this one is 8. We have no pump. We have no, let's say, turbines. And, well, since B, A is almost static, you wanted to check the, the velocity here, I will say it's zero. And the velocity in B, well, that's a very interesting question. And we could say, yeah, maybe this is not that long, we could ignore friction loss. So the actual model will be the height and the velocity outlet. So that will be a very awesome question to ask. What is the outlet velocity in this point right here, given this height? And of course, the higher, the more uh, fast we'll go here. And yeah, essentially that was a little overview of the mechanical energy equation. Please make sure to understand each of the concepts. Guys. Recall that this is positive work, so I, if I tell you 7 joules per kilogram, and if I tell you there's an outlet of 10 joules per kilogram. Actually, I love this nomenclature because it's positive always. But actually, if you calculate 7, you're adding 17, 70. When you're taking out 10, actually the delta of energy will be 60. Which means if you take out this turbine, you, you should only add 60 right here. So hopefully, of course, we're going to do a lot of exercises and I'm going to uh, try to show you each concept, the height, the velocity, friction loss, in the next lesson. So keep you, okay, let's see, yeah.
Let me just add you some extra notes in the next video. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections. If you're, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.